So let's see if we can find some ways to multiply by nine and memorize how we multiply by nine. When we look at that, there's a couple tricks we can really look at. One specific trick. Let's say we have nine. Any answer we get when we multiply a number by nine is going to add up to nine. Let's take a look at that. Let's say nine times two. Well, nine times two is 18. And obviously, if you take that one and eight, that one and eight is going to be equal to nine. If you get an answer when you multiply nine in a multiplication problem and the answer does not add up to nine, then you probably got it wrong. So this is a really good trick to look at. So let's say nine times six, that's 54. Obviously five and four, they add up to nine. So this works with any number you multiply by nine. The answer is going to add up to nine. It's a trick for you to make sure your, your problem's going the right way and that you got the right answer, right? So let's look at this for another way. And let's kind of focus in on these and, and prove it to ourselves because math helps us prove things, right? So the sums will add up to nine. So if nine times two, okay, we already know that one and eight, that 18, that one and eight equals nine. Nine times three, well, that two and seven, seven and two, that equals nine. Let's say nine times four, that's 36. Three and six equals nine. That's why I know that answer is right. Nine times five, that's 45. Well, that four and five, four plus five equals nine. Let's do nine times six. We just kind of inverted the, the answer. 54, five plus four equals nine. And we're starting to see a pattern here, right? Nine times seven is equal to 63. Six plus three is equal to nine. And then, you know, and it's kind of funny because I see that pattern in 36 and I see 54 repeated too. Let's see what happens with nine times eight. Well, that's 72, just like nine times three is 27. Well, nine times eight is 72. Seven plus two is equal to nine. Let's prove for myself again. Nine times nine is 81. And obviously eight plus one is equal to nine. And then finally, let's look at nine times 10. We know that nine times 10 is 90. Obviously nine plus zero is equal to nine. A great way to remember your nine, nine times tables.